Welcome to the Holyoke Community College Disc Golf Course in Holyoke, Massachusetts. This is part one. We're going to look at the front nine. And this is the redesign that was completed in 2012. So let's start off at the back of the Bartley Center where the T for one is. This is a par three, 276 foot hole. All the holes on the course except for two are par three. And I'll mention the uh, ones that aren't when we get there. So the course winds its way around the campus. This first hole is a tricky shot. You're against this hill over here. You have a lot of trees in the way and out of bounds areas on the left and right. And that's it. Now let's go to the T for two. This is a, another par three, 342 foot hole. And no, it's not up in the sky. So you have out of bounds areas on the left. Any pavement on the course is out of bounds. And there's also an out of bounds area way on the right, down the hill in the soccer field. So it's a tricky shot with a very steep slope on the right. When the course was first created, these trees that you see were quite a bit smaller. And there's the basket for two. And now three, you notice the arrow there. All over the course are arrows that point the way to the next T. So here's the tee pad for three. Tricky shot. You can either shoot through these trees or around to the right, or you could do an Anheuser to the left, and we're gonna go straight through the trees. And there's the third basket. Now these first three holes are pretty much unchanged from the original layout of the course, but from here on it gets a little different. The T for four is now down this hill. Right there. And this is the longest hole on the course. It's still a par three, 411 feet. This is the most wide open shot on the course. The whole front nine is fairly accessible for families um, or people who aren't really sure if they're good enough to play disc golf and just wanna practice a little bit or test it out. The front nine provides fairly open holes with um, a moderate amount of challenge. And there's the basket for four. And now we're gonna go up the hill, across the parking lot, to the T for five. This hole is the reverse of what it originally was. It's a 331 foot hole. You can see the pin way in the distance below the tree there. Again, another tricky shot. There are no gimmies on this course.
There are lots of pedestrians that walk along the trails near the course, so you have to be pretty careful about when you're throwing, make sure you don't whack anybody. And there's Five's basket. And now, to get to Six, we're going to go across the road. A lot of traffic on this road, especially during the normal school year. This was filmed during the summer, so the roads were a little quieter. But it's always a good idea to look both ways before crossing the street. And in this little park next to the college is the T for six. This is 245 feet. And plenty of obstacles here with the park benches and the trees and the flagpole. It's a really good idea to keep your disc low on this hole. And if the obstacles weren't enough, the basket's sitting right on the edge of a heavily forested area. So if you overshoot this hole, it's a tough comeback from there. Now we're going to go uh, up this little hill here and follow the road to the T for seven. No, I didn't have too much to drink when I made this video. I had just gotten a brand new steady cam and I was testing it out. And it was also a very windy day, so the steady cam was blowing around like a weather vane. There's the T for seven. This is the first par four hole on the course. 386 feet, and it's an S curve. You follow along this path here, and it curves toward the left. And then it'll come back a little bit to the right. As you can see, there's plenty of wood around here to give you trouble. And the basket is tucked away in a little alcove over here. And this hole gives you an idea of what it's like on the back nine of the course. This is sort of a taste of what's to come later on. A typical New England woodsy course. So now we're going to go up this little rise here over to the T for eight. And there it is. And this is another tricky shot got a very narrow alleyway to get through here. There's a steep drop off to the road on the left, and there's a heavily wooded section over on the right. So you have to snake your disc along this ridge. And there's the basket. It's 271 foot shot. Now notice that car going by there. There is a road down below. And the recommended route to get to the T for 9 from here is follow along this path and you'll see the sign for the T there. And then when you get to the bottom, of course, for safety's sake, stop and look and then cross. And the T for 9 is located over here. This is a very short shot, 205 foot, but it's a treacherous one. So the basket is pretty much straight ahead, except it's on a very steep slope, and you can see the road over there. So if you hit the ground rolling, uh, you're going to roll right into out-of-bounds territory. So it's usually best to be conservative on this hole and set yourself up to make a little upshot right about here. And that brings us to number nine and the end of the front nine of the HCC Disc Golf Course.